good morning friends today i'll be talking about how to apply guards in r well in first part i have already explained different terms related with guards like volatility clustering error term guards term arch term etc now when you apply guards model in r there are some packages which must be installed like uh, uh, t series ju fintias e1071 and ru guards these are five packages which i have already installed in my r setup now i would like to load these five packages in r for the same i have selected all five packages and click on run enter well so entire packages have been loaded in library i have explained here guards model applying different five steps in with this example these five steps are the first step is volatility clustering second is arch test third one is finding out the guards model fourth one is how to save uh, this guards model and the fifth one is forecasting of volatility so let's talk about step by step in first phase i have mentioned here how to find out volatility clustering for the same uh, we can easily understand volatility clustering with the help of time series plot what is the command command is plot dot ts it means time series and uh, series name and my series name is r nifty so i just write here r nifty so what is the command command is plot dot ts and r nifty for the first step enter well this is a graph we find out from this particular command when it recall about volatility clustering it has been already mentioned that high changes followed by high changes or low changes followed by low changes the same thing has been mentioned here in this figure when you talk about there is high fluctuation and this high fluctuation is followed by high fluctuation similarly there is calm moment and again there is calm moment it means it seems that there is volatility clustering right so step first is done with the help of time series plot let's talk about step number 2 that is testing of arch so what is the command for this command for arch test is arch and arch test series name that is return on nifty and uh, enter let's read this output the null hypothesis for arch test is there is no arch test or there is no arch effect when you see the p value p value is less than 5% or even it is less than 1% it means hypothesis is rejected so we we can easily say that there is arch effect so these two preconditions have to be met 
before applying cards and I have already talked about this step first and step second now we are ready to apply guards model so third step talks about how to find out suitable model either there will be guards 11 or guards 10 or guards 22 for this simply we can write command that is arts that is guards nifty just right here guards series name grade equal to numerical trace equal to false enter let's read this output when you recall first part I have already mentioned the equation and in that equation I have discussed that alpha 1 and beta 1 so alpha 1 is nothing but it is associated with error term square and beta 1 is associated with variance of past so it seems that it is a1 it means arch 1 it is B1, it means that is beta 1, which is related with guards 1. So it seems that guards 1 1 model is fit for this series. And normally, majority of the time, it has been found that guards 1 1 model is best model. So we come to know from third phase that which model is suitable for the present series and then I come to know from this output that guards 1 1 model is suitable so the fourth step is one of the major aspects of guards in this fourth step we will save the output of my suitable model that is guards 1 1 how to save that i simply write here i simply write here uh, x equal to u guards spec variance dot model list guards order 1 1 because my guards model is 1 1 main dot model equal to list arma order and finally I just enter here so what I what I'm going to do I'm going to create a series which is known as X in which entire entire model of this guards has been saved so X model is all about this saving the output of my uh, present model. After writing X simply I can find out here X underscore fit enter this uh, uh, I can write here you got fit. You guards fit X is all about uh, the uh, X in which I have already saved the data and equal to nifty finally enter after doing this I simply write here X underscore fit so what I do what what I well after running this uh, X fit I just get the output generated from this guards model let's read it it is talking about it is talking about guards model guards model fit and uh, guards model standard guards one one 
in which uh, one is arch term, this one is gauge term, mean model, distribution, we assume that uh, the series is normally distributed and the value is like omega, then alpha 1, beta 1 and this alpha 1 is significant, beta 1 is significant. So based on these outcome, what I come to know? I want to know today variability or today volatility or simply you can say today variance. How to know? If my model is GARCH11 for that I have already discussed in first part that omega plus alpha 1 into a sturdy squared residual beta 1 into a sturdy variance. So from this output when you see the output the value of omega is 0.00003 so I have mentioned here total today volatility equal to omega value then alpha 1 value which has been mentioned here into a sturdy squared residual beta 1 it means beta value and a sturdy variance so simply we have understood with the help of this GARCH11 model that we calculate today variability we calculate today volatility with the help of a sturdy variance and a sturdy residual square. Then we, after running this fourth step, now I'm going to calculate or now I'm going to forecast the volatility. For the same, simply we can write a command and the command is r nifty it means i am going to simply what i am going to do i am going to find out or forecast with the help of this u guards forecast x fit and then n so what should i do Simply I can uh, mention here x fit means uh, here I write uh, enter then r nifty f well after running this we come to know the 20 observation why 20 observation because I simply mention that I want to forecast only for the 20 observations. So I come to know 20 observations in terms of uh, the uh, variance in terms of the volatility that is t plus 1 equal to series 0 0.008211 sigma that is 0 0.0092 uh, then second day that is it means uh, second observation 0 0.009361 so this is all about my uh, sigma is all about for the volatility so again I am going to recall or revise the five steps for applying uh, this uh, GARCH model what are these simply we can say that the guards in order to forecast volatility a step first talks about volatility clustering then arch test guards model model specification output and finally we can forecast the volatility based on these five steps that's all about guards 11 model Thank you very much.